before I go on, first of all, let me uh, apologize for the time. I think uh, it's very, very important. Uh, we, uh, we should have started this by 11 after 11, but unfortunately, uh, we ran into traffic. So I apologize for this, and uh, hopefully next time it will be better. Uh, we, we all know the importance we are here uh, to, to, to unveil the players that uh, we believe uh, that will help us in the game coming up against Uganda. And uh, like I said in my, the first day I came into Tanzania, national team, I think, is a pride of every country. And uh, we, both the journalists, both the players, both the coaches, uh, we must be proud of our national team. Our objective is to see how we can collectively develop our football, how we can grow as a nation when it comes to football. Uh, how we can be able to compete with the rest of other countries. And I so much believe that uh, if we do what is needful and what is right, uh, we will achieve that. From the assessment, I think uh, we have decided as a team, uh, you don't go to war without knowing whom you're going to face. Uh, we know we are going to play against Uganda. We know they won their first game against Cap Verde in Cap Verde, so automatically they have three points. Uh, we unfortunately withdraw our first game home, so our objective is to see how we can build a solid team, how we can collectively from the players to the backroom staff to the coaches to see how we can work as a team. Uh, my philosophy as a coach, I don't believe on individual. I have to be very realistic to you because football is a collective issue. And uh, if our players that uh, we are trying to invite uh, to be part of this project, uh, they must realize that uh, we are a team. There is no individual. So we have decided to bring 25 players. That is the number of players we are bringing in. 25 players, we're going to work with them. Uh, before we go also on to, to unveil the names, uh, please, I would like to make it clear. Our national team, uh, should not be only limited to three teams. Our national team should be limited to all the teams that are in Tanzania. All the players, they have equal opportunities to play in the national team because we are a country. And uh, it all depends on our ability to play and to prove that we can really give something to the Tanzanian people when it comes to football. So I would like you people to understand on this. And also, I will also plead uh, on behalf of my coaches, my players, the media, please, we must have understanding uh, with our players, knowing that uh, every success, or how they put it, that road to success is always under construction. So even if we are here today, we still have to continue to build to see how we can improve. So I would really appreciate all your support. Uh, to see how we can grow as a team uh, when it comes to football. So without wasting much of your time, you know, like I said earlier, we have decided to bring uh, 25 players. We have about three goalkeepers uh, from the local league. Uh, we have other players, our foreign players that are playing outside. But for the meantime, we will start with the local players that we have here so that we can be able to uh, prepare ourselves uh, when the foreign players come, we can be able to gel as a team. So we have decided to bring uh, uh, the goalkeeper from Simba, I think uh, we call him Manuela. And then we bring uh, Mohamed Abdurrahman. We bring in uh, Beno Kokolanya. We bring in uh, Shomari Kompombe. Hassan Kesi. We bring Gedel Michael. Abdi Banda. Kevin Yondani. Agre Morris, Andrew Vicent, Himid Mao, Mudatiri Yahaya, Erasto Nioni, Jonas Nkunde, Simon. Please, I have, I have to improve, but no problem. <laughs> I will learn. <laughs> so, understand with me. So, we have Simon Msuva, Shiza, Ramadan Hani, Rashid. Mandawa, Farid Musa, Hassan Dilunga, Faisal Salum, Mbangwan Ali Samanta. I think that's one of our great players. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it will always be good to see him. 
Thomas Ulungwengu, Shabani Chilunda, John Boko, and Yahaya Zaid. I think these are the players that we, we have decided to bring in and uh, uh, hopefully, like I said, you know, uh, we can be able to, to see how we grow as a team. Uh, the method, I have to be very realistic to you. I'm a guy and I'm very straight in what I do. I could remember in the 90s, uh, Nigerians, we are having only, let's say, four, four uh, foreign players. And uh, the coach was keen in his dream by making sure he expand his net, giving all the whole players that played in Nigeria the same opportunity. And uh, within a short period of time, we started seeing a lot of players. Even I myself, I benefited in the same system because I was playing in Nigeria. So our duty and our objective here is to see how we can grow as a team, how we can expand our vision, how every player in Tanzania can believe that they have opportunity to be in the national team as long as they are doing well and as long as they are playing well. So I think this is the objective. Like I said again, please, I would like your support. Uh, Emmanuel Amuneke, former African Footballer of the Year, uh, work with FIFA. I'm not coming here to tell you I will do miracle, but I, I can also tell you with respect, hard work, dedication, humble commitment, if we believe in the dream, we can be able to make the Tanzanian people smile. Uh, because the only thing a man can do is to use his gift to make his people smile. And the gift that we have, if we can use it to make Tanzanian people smile collectively, I think that would be the highest achievement we have achieved. So I will ask you for support. We will make mistakes. We are human beings. There is no doubt about that. Uh, we will also learn from our mistakes. But the most important thing is, I'm being clear. I'm not trying to tell you we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But I know that we have to work hard to be able to achieve our objective. So I thank you very well for everything. Thank you. Well, I have to be very honest to you. In football, I think uh, you are looking for balance in all you do in football. Uh, you are looking for balance from the defensive aspect, from the goalkeeper to even the striker, where everybody can watch, uh, work as harmony and function as a unit. I might not be here, but of course, I've been following your football. And I can categorically tell, you know, in Africa, we always ask, do you have the video of the opponent? Uh, but we've been working quietly, uh, looking at the areas. And uh, before we came here, you had a team that already played uh, a friendly game. And uh, it will not be advisable to come and then disorganize the whole team. Uh, you have to stick with the team and then look at the areas. You have to improve the team. And as time goes on, uh, you can begin to identify those that can really help the team and the new ones bringing them to see how you can gel as a team. I think this is exactly what saying I'm, I'm not in the country, but I've been following your league and I can tell you since last year, December, I've been following your football and I was also privileged to be assistant coach uh, with the Super Egos when we were in the same group with Tanzania. Unfortunately, the chat team, they pull out uh, to deplete the group. But I can tell you, uh, I've been following it, and uh, I can guarantee you that we want the best for the national team, and that's the only way we can grow as a team.
Karibu chuo cha Kilimanjaro Institute of Technology and Management kilichopo Mwenge na Sinza mapambano jijini Dar es Salaam na chenye usajili wa nakte nambari Rage Mkwaju ANE Mkwaju 029 wameanza kudahili wanafunzi wapya kwa ngazi ya diploma na certificate kwa mwaka masomo 2018-2019 katika kozi zifuatazo IT Business Administration Accountancy Procurement and Supply Front Office and Hotel Management Chuo kimebobea katika ufundishaji kwa njia vitendo na kimeweza kutoa wanafunzi wenye weledi. Wengi wameajiriwa ama kujajiri na kwa wali ambao wameamua kuendelea na degree katika vyuo vikuu mbalimbali hapa nchini wamekuwa wakifanya vizuri sana katika masomo yao. Pia, chuo kinatoa kozi fupi za kompyuta na umeme, ada zao ni nafuu na unaruhusiwa kulipa kwa awamu. Kwa maelezo zaidi, piga simu nambari 0652 au 0766 ITM elimu na ujuzi kwa maendeleo ya viwanda Wake jana Unafaa nini dishani kwa mwanangu saizi Unafaa nini Yes yes yes. Eh? No. Wewe ni kibaka? Baba. Ila. Nani huyu tena? Nilikuwa nanyapia toba za Insta. Hapana. Isa nyumbani kwa watu. Hapana. Wewe ni kibaka? Hapana mzee. Chabu za nini? Wakati Vodacom inakuletea simu janja kali za Itel Gado na Technofire kwa bei ya jioni. Pata GB za bure kufidia